My name is Louise McGeech. I have two girls at St George's. I have um, one in primary five currently and another one in primary three. My daughter in primary five started when she was in primary two and uh, the little one in primary three came in Big Owls, so she joined at the last year of nursery. We chose the junior school at St George's um, because we truly believe in girls' education and we are really sold on the yes she can um, approach that St George's has. We came from uh, the US and so when we arrived in Edinburgh, really St George's was our only, the only school we looked at, partly because I was an old girl and I know that St George's excels in um, educating girls, um, not just for its academic excellence, but in its all-round curriculum, giving girls um, access to not just great academics, but also drama, sport, music, the whole, um, the whole package was, was really no other option for us. Small class sizes have been amazing in terms of attention and the one-to-one -one learning that they get. So it really means that the girls can learn at their own pace, they can develop at their own speed, and it means that they really achieve their full potential. They're not um, pegged into a classroom where they're learning amongst peers which are either further ahead or behind. Everybody has a chance to develop at their own speed. I think it's a really great opportunity for them to have. The junior school is very lucky because they have access to the uh, a specialist music staff um, and the music department is amazing. And both my girls just adore Mrs Morrison, the music teacher, and they love having their singing lessons. They also have recorder um, class with her. I think they have, through the years, they've been doing percussion, they do, you know, different, learn about different instruments and it's not just singing but also actually learning music and and rhythm, which I, I think has been great. The sport at St George's is great, and in the junior school they're very lucky because they have access to the sports fields, the gym, the gym hall, um, and there's sport, I think, three times a week. So they're um, very well set up to, to, to start learning hockey at a very young age. They've, my oldest one has been doing hockey and lacrosse uh, in the winter term, and then in the summer I think they do tennis and they have athletics which she's absolutely loved. Um, and then the younger kids do PE, and they've done ballet, they've done gymnastics. So they really have a real wealth of um, opportunity on a sporting front. Um, before COVID, they were swimming um, once a week at Drum Shoe, which everybody loves. I think we're very lucky at St George's that the, the campus grounds are phenomenal and they're very unique. I think we're so close to the city um, and yet we have all this land for them to run around on and it's enclosed, they're safe, um, we have outdoor pitches, we don't have to get on a bus and drive anywhere to get to the playing fields, they're right on the doorstep. Um, I, I think they're exceptionally lucky. And they put the girls into six houses from, I think it's P1. Um, and those houses are stay with you all the way through school. Um, and they're very active with their house captains. So the senior school has house captains who look after all the girls in the house all the way through. And then in primary five, there's also a house captain. Um, so in primary five, they get to stand for election. And it's just really good for the, the girls in primary five to take on a little bit of responsibility um, and learn a little bit of early leadership skills. Um, and then they can work together with the senior house captains and they pull together these wonderful house activities which they've done all the way through lockdown. So St George's Junior School offers clubs after school most days of the week and the clubs cover pretty much every interest that a girl could, could have. So everybody's covered, everybody's welcome to join in. Um, there's, uh, my girls have done science and um, outdoor learning, which is a, ve a very big favourite. There are also language clubs. Um, there's music, a recorder club during the, week, during the day at lunchtime and there's also chess club at lunchtime. And for sports clubs we have hockey, um, an external provider comes in to teach the girls judo and there's also a mixed sports club which takes place outdoors. So my girls love coming to St George's, they're excited to come every morning, they particularly love their music lessons, and they love being able to perform in the music centre, so they perform in, in the auditorium in front of an audience at the end of term. They love the ability to do outdoor learning and there's a fantastical forest on the campus grounds where they love to go and explore. They love camps, St George's is great at offering school camps. 
atmosphere at St George's is, is it's a very kind and nurturing place to be. The girls are, have a wonderful rapport with their teachers and the teachers in the junior school really are true mentors and role models for them. They really do look up to them and um, it's just a very, it's a very happy, nurturing place to be. St George's is a very unique and it's a very special place and I think that until you actually come and see it in action, it's very difficult to understand really what goes on here. And I would say to anybody who's thinking about coming, then just do it. Come and visit and, and see what it has to offer your daughter because I, I can't explain to you in words. It just, it's just the magic of St George's. It has to be seen to be believed.